So the first step to cleaning silk is making sure that we have a clean work surface free of any chemicals or grease. You're going to fill your wash tub or sink with cool to room temperature water. If you're washing something like a print, air on the colder the better because it's just going to prevent any bleeding of the dyes or print transfer. Today I will be using Tied Silk Delicates. You can use whatever preferred detergent you'd like as long as it specifically states that it is silk safe. Do not use regular detergent please, it will ruin your silk. If you don't have a special detergent, a baby shampoo, something that is gentle, baby shampoo, or a shampoo that is free of any sulfates, parabens, paraffins, silicones, harsh chemicals, clarifying chemicals, you get the idea. Think Curly Girl Method shampoo. Sometimes I use Cantu shampoo. It works great for this. I use about a half a teaspoon to one teaspoon. Remember that gentle shampoo is not going to suds up like a detergent will, so don't put a bunch in. Just start small and slowly add more if you need to. Once you are added your shampoo or detergent to the running water, you're going to submerge your garments with light colors, of course. If you're washing something with a print, only make sure that that is the only item in the wash tub. Another important thing to add is if you are washing like colors, make sure that they are only silk. Do not mix silk with other materials. I'm going to go ahead and let the silk soak for about five minutes, just gently moving it around. We're not going to aggressively agitate it or scrub in any way. Speaking of scrubbing, if you have a stain and you know it's not coming out by this method, then take that little dollop of baby shampoo or curly girl method shampoo, whatever you're working with here, take a tiny bit of that on your finger and gently press it into the stain. You can go ahead and slowly massage it into the stain. Don't scrub. I'm going to emphasize that. Do not scrub and don't press hard. It's not going to do anything but make that area look weird because you've broken down the silk fibers. So just gently pat it into that area. Let it sit for about two minutes. Rinse it out with cold water and repeat if it does not look better. After washing, I'm going to drain my tub. Then I'm going to refill the tub with cool water and add one to two cups of white vinegar. This is just to kind of help rinse the material, but also this conditions the silk, keeping in that beautiful luster that we all know and love. If you don't have any vinegar or you absolutely hate vinegar, then you can use conditioner, adding a few teaspoons at a time once again, please be smart with the conditioner that you're using. If you wouldn't put it on a baby, don't put it on silk. If you are using vinegar, keep in mind that the vinegar smell will dissipate when your item dries. So don't worry, you're not gonna walk around smelling like salad dressing. After the conditioning rinse, I am going to completely drain the tub and I am squeezing the silk against the sides and against the bottom of the sink. I am not twisting, I'm not wringing, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just gently compressing the material against the work surface just to squeeze out any excess water. Once I've done that and it's not soaking wet, I've laid out a clean towel. I'm going to put the items in the towel and I'm rolling up the towel like a burrito and squeezing down on the towel as I go. This is going to get out like 80% of your water. If you feel like you need another go at it, go ahead and lay out another clean towel. Do the same process over. You're going to be surprised at how your item is going to be almost completely dry at this point, And it'll be ready for you to lay flat to dry or to hang up to dry. I wouldn't suggest hanging silk to dry if it's really, really wet, just to prevent any kind of stretching. So here I'm hanging up my silk garment over a bar and onto a clothes hanger. I'm using a thick, soft plastic hanger. You can use a velvet hanger. I wouldn't use any metal hangers for this. So because mine was almost dry when I hung it, it took probably like 40 minutes to dry completely. And here I am just rolling up the silk and ready to store it. 
Because I hung mine up to dry, it's left hardly any wrinkles and barely any creases in it. I'm not ready to wear this yet, so I'm going to roll up the item and store it into my dresser. If you are not rolling up your silk and storing it into a dresser, then I would suggest using a velvet hanger or something like I had, a thick plastic hanger. Don't use um, wooden ones or metal ones just to prevent any kind of slivers or perforation of the silk. Also, do not put the silk next to a rough linen or anything with embellishments that's going to snag on it. You can also use cedar blocks or lavender sashes to make sure that no moths want to eat your clothing. Some other things you may want to consider is getting a separate hamper completely for your hand wash only items just to prevent any accidental um, machine wash mishaps, which has definitely happened before to me. If your garment is really wrinkled, do not iron it. Some people iron it over a towel, but I, I think this is a little too risky. I use a clothing steamer. You can pick these up pretty much anywhere. Mine is not the best clothing steamer, but it, it works fine. I think I got mine for under $20 at Target. I use distilled water inside of it just to prevent any mineral deposits. Depending on how much your steamer spits out, um, you're going to want to hold it about a foot away. You're going to lightly steam over the garment and you can gently pull at the corners to get them straightened out. If that doesn't work for you, you can just gently shake the hanger. The silk will know exactly what it wants to do and it'll kind of fall gently, especially if the garment is a bias cut. It's kind of hard to do this without just gently shaking the fabric around. It will fall into place, I promise. Just keep steaming and shaking and making sure you are not burning the silk or your hand. You're going to be fine. If you live in a particularly dry climate and silk clinging to you is a problem, you can go ahead and give your silk item a quick steam before going out and making sure you put on any body lotion. This is also going to prevent clinging to you in very unflattering ways.